Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this drill chuck key. A couple of simple steps and we will get what we want. So follow along and see how you go. We're going to be working off of this uh, technical drawing over here. We can see we've got a bunch of dimensions that we're going to be using to create our chuck key. So to get started, I'm going to just draw this shaft, the horizontal and the vertical shaft. You can see that's 80 millimeters and that one is 33 millimeters and they both have a diameter of 10 millimeters. And then we'll add in these little um, fillets after that. So to start this one off, I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane and C for center diameter circle and this is going to be 10 millimeters. I'll finish that and then I will extrude this up to 80 millimeters. We could have just gone into create and created a cylinder that would have achieved the same outcome but I prefer doing a sketch and extruding. What we're going to do now is create a sketch on one of these other planes, so the right plane. We can see it intersects that plane. If I have to press slice over here, you can see it's exactly in the center. So I didn't uh, measure exactly how far up it is, but let's do a construction line here. You can see as I move it along there, it snaps to the center, and we'll go down here. I'm then gonna go C for center diameter circle on this line and make it 10 millimeters. So we must turn off construction line type and there we go. We can finish sketch. What we'll do then is extrude that. That's gonna be 33, so 33, but we're also adding half of this thickness, which is five and it's join. So now if I had to measure between this point, so let's go measure, inspect from this point to that point, we can see we've got that 33, which is what we saw in the drawing. Then we'll just add in our fillets. I'll click on fillet tool, select the ends. And it had a four millimeter diameter. So I'm just gonna make it a two millimeter radius. Now we've got the first little part. So looking at our chuck key now, I can see that this horizontal section looks like it's maybe a little bit too high up. I didn't dimension that at all. So what I'm going to do now is go back into the original sketch wheel of that circle. I'm going to slice it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension that circle from the top and I want it roughly a third of the way down. So we know it's 80 divided by 3. Let's see where we end up. Okay. So let's push it down a bit. That looks more like it. So what we're gonna do now is go back into our technical drawing and see what we're putting over there. Now we're gonna draw this little section here. I can see it's two millimeters thick and has a diameter of 32 millimeters. To do this, I'm gonna create a sketch on this face over here. C for center diameter circle. And you'll see as it finds the center, it makes a little blue circle. And this is 32 millimeters. Press enter. Now I'll finish this sketch and extrude it up two millimeters. And it will be a join operation. Next, we're gonna draw the tapering ends that we're gonna actually loft between them. Our first circle is gonna have a diameter of 25 millimeters and the second one will be 15. And there's a 15 millimeter gap between them. So I'm gonna create a sketch on this face now. C again for center diameter circle and we'll look for the center. Again, you can see it makes a little circle over there. So 25 millimeters, finish sketch. I'm then going to create a new plane, so construct, offset plane, from this is 15 millimeters. Okay, and on our new plane, we're going to draw our 15 millimeter diameter circle. 
First, we're going to push P. I'm going to project this center point over there. Now, when I do my center diameter circle, it can snap to it. 15, enter, and we'll finish sketch. Now, what we're going to do is create a loft between this point and that point. And it's a join operation. And there we've got the loft. All that's left to do now is draw our, our teeth and then we'll do a circular pattern on them. So before we draw our tooth profile, I'm just gonna draw a sweep path. And we're gonna sweep that profile along. I'm gonna create a sketch on the front plane and select slice. And now we need to get a couple of points here for our sweep. So it's not really giving me much. What I really want is to have that point there and that point there. Let's see if we've got that covered. There we go. L, we'll start it at this point. And I just want it to go past the bottom there. And there we go. Then what I'm gonna do is coincident. Select this line we've just drawn and make it coincident with that point over there. So now we'll be able to sweep along this path and go just past there so that it's dipping into this bottom section there. Finish sketch. I'm gonna draw a sketch on this front plane. Create sketch. Select this front plane over here. And if we go have a look at our technical drawing, we can see that the tooth has a five millimeter radius on the edge there and that 10.4 millimeters 10.44 millimeters from that center point is where that starts so i'm just going to draw that in first and then we'll draw our triangle start by drawing a construction line let it snap to the center as you can see there's the little center line and that's 10.44 um, what we can do now is go back to the technical drawing. We can see that there's a triangle that intersects our circumference and it's 2.55 millimeters apart. So I'm going to do that same triangle here, 2.55 millimeters apart. So if I go L for line tool, this doesn't really matter where we draw this at this point. We'll add some constraints that will turn it into the triangle we want. I'm intentionally making it a bit out so you can see how the constraints rectify for us. So I'll put a horizontal constraint there and a horizontal constraint on this. Then we're gonna make these coincident and that one too. Then what we do is we dimension it 2.55. So 2.55 that's perfect. So we can see we got this large triangle here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this fillet on here. So if I put in my fillet, and it's a 0.5 millimeter radius. Now I wanna make this point coincident with that point. So I add the coincident constraint, and there we can see it's fully constrained. But now I want this to run into this profile so that we don't have anything sticking out. We can put this in and make sure it's 90 on that one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw it a little bit out. So you can see that how the constraints um, get it to where we want. So a parallel constraint over here. We bring that into line. And we can just put a horizontal constraint here just for the sake of Neatness, and then if you really want to make sure that this is fully constrained, we can set a distance here. Um, two millimeters there, it's fully constrained. So we'll finish the sketch. And now we're gonna sweep that profile. So create, sweep, and we'll select this whole profile. A sweep path will be this line. You'll see it'll run all the way through there. We're gonna change this to a join operation. And I'm gonna have a look on the side here and pull this line up. I want it to be just inside there. So let's get a nice front view. 
and there it's disappeared. Must have deselected my path. Okay, there we've got it back. What I want to do is grab this arrow and pull it back a little bit. So we can see there it's it looks like it's just inside there and I'm happy with that. But now I know that this is uh, only one of 11 teeth so I'm going to create a circular pattern I create pattern circular. What we do here is we just change this from bodies to features and with the being feature we can select a feature from our timeline and then we can pattern that. The axis will just be one of these rotational axes here and our number is 11. So that's almost right. We're just going to put this little top piece on. Let's go have a quick look at the technical drawing. We can see here that there's a 9mm high and 9mm wide with a 1mm radius fillet on the edge. We're going to create a sketch on this face over here. And it should be able to find the center. Just push C for center diameter circle. There we go. As I go over the center, it makes that nice little round mark, that round circle for me. And this is nine millimeters. Once we've drawn that, we can finish sketch. Then extrude this profile by nine millimeters. And it's a join operation. Then we'll just add a one millimeter fillet. And we're good to go. But I don't like it looking so plain. So what I'm gonna do is just add a bit of color to it. I'm gonna right click on it and go to appearance. Now we've got uh, quite a few anodized colors, which are quite, quite nice. Um, I think we'll, we'll try a red. You just drag it over the body. And then we've got that shiny red anodized drill chuck key. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Uh, you can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. My email is in the description. Until next time, bye.